Hey there, fun foodsters. Welcome to my mukbang. Today, I am, can you guess, those who know, who have been watching me, which parking lot I'm in right now. Luckily, the landscapers aren't here. They actually, they were here, and then they're just leaving right now. So, <laughs> I'm in the Coles parking lot, where I was bitching at those dang uh, landscapers. Anyways, I stopped at my local supermarket. The Publix, they are so freaking like, ah, uh, so Southern Comfort around here in Florida. I'm not used to it at all. I'm, I'm, I am getting used to it though, because it's really nice. Because things that they do in like supermarket here, they would not do at, back in Jersey. I'll let you know exactly what's uh, going on with that in a minute, but let me show you my food. First of all, this is a free coffee. It's not bad either. They have uh, at all the Publixes, that's what um, our local supermarket is called, Publix. They have um, a free coffee machine and the sugar and the creamer and stuff like that. So there, I got a Asiago bagel. I've been dying for a bagel. So I wanted uh, cream cheese on it, but they, they ran out of cream cheese. Um, but it already has cheese on the top. I'll show you that in a minute. And they warmed it up for me. That's, it. That's one thing that I'm talking about. They, they wouldn't do that in Jersey, most likely. And this is a sugar, okay, um, sugar long john. I don't know, they, they call it filled long john on here. As you can see, it's only 80 cents. So for the total for the bagel and the donut, it's about 150. 150 for breakfast, you can't beat that. Yeah, it's not the healthiest breakfast, but you know, from this is probably the only thing that I'm gonna eat all day long until dinner. Especially since it's already got my sugary aspect of what I need for the day, because us girls typically like to have something sugary. Oh my gosh, he put it in there nice and perfectly because I'll show you. place you plenty of freaking tissues napkins in my place you right there with the bagel out probably I'm gonna eat half each I don't know I'll probably not. we'll see we'll see put all the cheese on the top of there you guys could probably see it because I'm in a good spot right now in like the shade but let me put both on my hand should be good. Okay, what should I try first? I'll go for the bagel. I love bagels. Do I have any butter in this car? I have to save this for when it's pretty good mm. for when I have like something to put in it but the cheese on the top definitely I mean I could eat a plain bagel on its own a nice fresh warm bagel Mm. So yeah, I'm in the um, Coles parking lot, obviously. I'm gonna be um, doing some shopping. <clears throat> My son is turning eight this Sunday, so not only do I have Christmas shopping to do, my mom, uh, she gave me a gift card for me to get the kids a gift each, and myself also. So I'm gonna be doing that also. Mm. 
I thought this was gonna be different cream. This is um. like a whipped cream I don't know why I was expecting it to be like a Bavarian cream I should have known by the color but it's still good how could you go wrong with a cream you know mmm 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 <laughs> ah good So, oh, my mom, you could do e-gift cards now instead of sending them in the mail. That's probably something that you, that has been going on for a while, but me and my mom are just finding out about it now. I'm not, I'm not very certain, but I would think they would advertise it. On their website and on the flyers that you get saying oh you could do e-gift cards if it was like a big thing like that everybody knew I don't know hmm I don't know you guys it looks like I'm about to eat all of this so the reason my, why my mom did this it's because um Every year, she gives me her um, login information for the Kohl's website where, you know, it has her credit card. So I get the kids gifts um, that they like from my mom and my dad, their grandparents. And they always give us a problem every single year. Something goes wrong where they're like, oh no, you can't do that. And like the gifts either come late or my mom has to go out of her way. She, she works all the time, first of all. And she's got to go out of her way to call Coles and such a pain in the butt. So she's like, no, I'm not going to go through that this year. I have no business in this. I'm going to have to work out today or something. I haven't worked out in forever. I have to do uh, a couple sprints around the Coles. <laughs> Cause carbs, mmm. Even though it just said that the body runs on carbs, right? But if there's the good carbs, the not so good carbs, fruits and vegetables. Those are the carbs, that, the carbs that they're referring to. These are the bad carbs. What are you gonna do? I love fresh bread. Mm. Not only that, I needed this. Going through some stuff right now in my life. It's crazy, you guys. I just the whole re that's one of the main reasons, not only because I was on Thanksgiving break, but I'm going through some stuff right now that I was just crazy. Like one bad thing after another, like major things were happening. They say they come in threes and it came in threes. And actually now there was a fourth thing. But the three things came like all in the same weekend. But luckily, I'm a very, very optimistic person. So, I'm a very good choice for a friend because I always look at the bright side of things. I think that's the only way to live, you know, because if you dwell on things, if you sit on them, if you think too much, if you get too upset about them and link, let them linger in your brain, you're going to stress out. Stress causes diseases, you know? 
Let it go. Let things ride. See if they're really as bad as, they are, as they're supposed to be. Try to fix it as soon as possible. You know? And if there's nothing you can do about it, there's nothing you can do about it. Live. You gotta go day by day. Day by day. You know? Oh my goodness. I really should dr throw that donut out. And the, that piece right there. I shouldn't finish it. I shouldn't. Look, I got the same size amount left over. <laughs> they almost look like each other. <laughs> I'll probably be hungry. I'm, I'm full right now. I don't. There's no need to overstuff myself. I'm gonna be walking around colds like a weeble wobble. I already made a bad decision, <laughs> but it was good. It was a good and a bad decision. Yeah, yesterday's mukbang. I went to town with all them vegetables and then the donuts at the end. But like I said in the video, I didn't eat anything all day. And I'm like, yeah. So, yeah, that's um, as far as the southern hospitality. Um, not only will they try to do like everything in like... Um, try to accommodate you as the best that they can but they also the cashiers they are so they have to be so nice they like um they have the one cashier and they usually have the one bagger and the bagger always offers to bring your cart out for you and put your groceries inside your car we never take advantage of that because we usually have the kids with us and there's no way I want them strolling around my kids kind of weird I don't know I mean I'll be right there but I mean some moms do it and you know they need help you know what I mean especially if they, they have a baby with them and it, it's hard to juggle getting the baby in the car and then putting the groceries because I don't know I don't know because <laughs> some parents over like you know over uh What's that word? I got it and then I lost it. Protective. Overprotective. I don't know. Every mom's overprotective with their baby, though, you know. Little baby in the world. Anyways, I'm rambling on. About to go shopping. I hope that um, everything is well in everybody's lives and uh, just remember, if something is not right in your life right now, to always look at the bright side of things see what is good about your life right now see what is good about that's going on right now and try to take the bad and with the good you know and try to balance it it's you know sometimes it's not an easy thing you know sometimes i talk out of my ass and some things get just to be too much where you know you can't look at the bright side of things but it's always best to try your hardest to do that you know what i mean because like stress is so bad you know sometimes you just gotta say Fuck it. I don't even care right now. You know what I mean? Some people might say, hey, you shouldn't have that kind of attitude. But what are you, what else are you going to do? Sit there and stress? I don't know. Anyways. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below. Like this video. And I will see you in my next mukbang. Check you later, guys. Mm -hmm.